covering a total distance of 1,301 kilometers and 95 kilometers has been achieved this quarter. This quarter, the, the last quarter, that is October to December, 95 kilometers equivalent were achieved compared to 62 kilometers achieved in the previous quarter, previous quarter or the first quarter. This cumulatively brings the total performance to 157 kilometers equivalent added to the network in the last six months. Kajina, who was updating the media about Uganda National Roads Authority quarterly performance, says they have started implementing regulations aimed at operationalizing the UNRWA Act 2006. Include general regulations, the vehicle dimension and load control regulations, and the ferry management regulations. Effective January 2018, these regulations will help the organization in ensuring that the road assets are managed efficiently and are safe for the user and are well protected and are used responsibly. We appeal to the public through the media to continue familiarizing themselves with these regulations to avoid the harsh penalties and so that their objectives of the regulations can be achieved. In the last financial year, UNRWA cancelled contracts of upgrading the Musita Aluminio Busia Majanji Road, which was behind schedule by 70%, and the rehabilitation of Nakalamatiri Nyimbare Road, which was behind schedule by 60%. After an appeal by the affected contractors with a pledge to mobilize and execute their contracts, government reinstated them on these projects. Kajina says this move will not, however, undermine their mandate. No, it shouldn't, because we have signed a contract uh, with a provider and their terms of performance and uh, UNRWA's uh, effort cannot be undermined because two companies have been reinstated. We have over, I don't know how many companies performing, I think over 20 projects ongoing. If we fold our hands back now at this point because two companies have been reinstated, 20 projects will fail. So we will continue to monitor performance of every project to ensure that it performs as agreed. UNRWA is also in advanced stages of finalizing the paperwork needed for government to borrow money for the construction of the critical oil roads. These roads have been prioritized by government and have to be ready by the year 2020. The cost of all these activities, as we mentioned, the kilometers right now we are estimating about 693 kilometers. The total cost comes to about uh, 3.2 trillion. Now that includes an element which we call the variation of price. Because these projects are going to be implemented over a number of years, we have to allow for the um, increase in cost of some of the elements that we might be using or input within the contract. So that comes to the 3.2 trillion. Um, Government of Uganda will be contributing 900 billion, which is mainly going into the Uganda position and the uh, supervision of co consultants, and then the rest of the civil works will be by uh, donor finance. The Roads Authority also hopes to complete construction works on the Imbarara Bypass, which currently stands at 99.7%, Kampalentebe Express Highway, which is at 82%, Mukono Chetu Mekatosi, which is at 91%, among others. Five bridges are also expected to be completed by the end of this financial year. Samuel Senono, UBC News.